Hi everyone, it's a bit of a sad day today. I've actually decided to sell the Discovery 3. So I'm going to give you a little look around it. I know most of you have seen it over the many videos that we've posted, but hopefully one of you will get the opportunity to actually purchase this. Starting off, yes, it's a 2006 Discovery 3 with the 2.7 diesel V6 on it. It's got about 111,000 miles on it now, but really I think what you're interested is to see uh, what the condition is and also what's uh, different about this D3 compared to all the others. Starting off around the front, first up, you can see down here, we've got it uh, off-road ready. We've got it with the um, Terra Firma um, concealed winch tray. We have the um, um, A12000 um, winch in there as well. Nice Kyostar shackle on the front as well. Um, we've replaced the the fog lights. They've both, both also got the, the LED lamps in them. Um, it comes, because this is the HSE model, it already comes with the Xenon headlights, which also are the cornering lights as well. Moving around to the side a little bit here. It has the um, raised air intake, which I think, um, um, I don't think it's a genuine Land Rover one, but it's like one of the patented or the patent ones, which are, are the same sort. Tyres, tyres are all stu still pretty good as well. Here we've got the uh, Discoverer, um, Pro, STT Pro, and they're on the 17 inch um, um, genuine Land Rover wheels. You can see as well it's jacked up, we'll see why that's jacked up because obviously it's got the X lifter fitted to it. We've got the, the rock sliders, again they're still in pretty good condition on there as well. And then up the top we have got the, um, this is the genuine, I've had the, of all the questions that people ask me, this is probably one of the most frequently asked questions. This is a Genuine Land Rover Flora roof rack. It's actually had the top piece taken off, so it's just the bottom section of it. In the back, it has the optional rear climate control, so um, people can actually operate these. It's actually got the, the, the two different zones in there as well. You can do the temperature, air, and everything else like that. As you can see, when we're in the back here as well, all the seats are in good condition. Um, the original nice black leather in there as well. All the carpets, so again, although we've been off-road with it, um, we do try and look after it. And as you can see, it's in uh, good condition in there as well. And then round the back, again, all looks good here as well. It's got the rear parking sensors. It also has the, the, um, the front parking sensors because it's the HSC model. Um, we'll also give you with it the spare wheel, which is in the back. And you can see here, we've got the, the dog guard set up, which keeps it secure and all those things as well out of the way. And also the, um, the rubber mat, which keeps it clear. You won't get the, uh, the bag with all the camera stuff in it. Let's take a look in the front. Two keys for it, both of them work. Just pop it in. And what we'll see is that, yeah, it's actually 111,527. Mm -hmm. There is um, no errors or any problems with the vehicle. In fact, the only one thing out of everything on the vehicle, the one everything works except for the heated rear piece in this seat. Everything else on the vehicle works. There's no problems with anything. We'll include the um, CB radio and also the, um, the aerial on the roof with it. And then probably the most important thing for this vehicle is that this vehicle has the very rare rear diff locker. You've seen again in a few of our videos how different that actually makes the vehicle if you actually plan to take it off road. And then additionally with it as well, we'll also keep in here the, the X lifter. This allows you to actually adjust on the fly whatever um, height you want to set with it. And also if you are planning to do any towing or if you're planning to do any um, camping with roof tent, etc., you can actually adjust the height of it to allow it to like self level to get it just in the perfect position for you. The MOT is coming up on October the 27th and that's also when its next service will be due. The vehicle has got a full service history. It's been looked after by um, um, Congleton um, LRC. They're a, a good independent garage, and prior to that, I think it mainly had a um, a franchised um, dealer servicing on it as well. Um, also in here, because it's the HSE model, you can see you have the refrigerator in the centre armrest. It's obviously the automatic, as you can see here. Um, it does come, as I said, with the winch, so in here, uh, yeah, in fact we'll give you one of the glass smashers as well, but in here you have both the controls for the um, wireless control for the winch, and 
whole load of gloves, thanks COVID. And also you have the, the wired winch as well if you prefer to actually have a bit more control over it. In fact, I tend to use the wireless one because it tends to be a little bit easier than plugging it in and having to worry about it. Let's take a look under the bonnet and see what it looks like under there. I have got the, um, the powerful UK aftermarket um, front grille. I have actually got the original one in the garage as well, so if you want that, I'll give that to you. And then, underneath here, as you can see, um, I'll give it a bit of a clean over. Um, you see here we've got neatly placed at the top. Here you've actually got the, um, the solenoid and all the controls for the winch. All the oil and everything else should be good in here. As I said, only, only 111,000 miles, so it's actually relatively uh, relatively um, low mileage for, uh, for this vehicle. Um, good quality battery underneath there. I don't know if I can get into there easily or not. Maybe I won't go into there at the minute, but it's got, um, it's got a, a Bosch um, battery in there as well. So uh, it can actually run all these electrical attachments. And then, as you can see, if we have a little walk around the vehicle now and just look to see what the condition's like. As I said, it's been off-road, but we um, did put a, uh, a ceramic coating on it, and I do give it a, a little polish over every now and again. And all those little, those little scratch marks and things that come from when you go down the green lanes, you can see that um, they've actually polished out a tree, so you can't really see uh, any marks in here at all. Oh, I forgot to say as well, we have got the... On the front and the rear lights, you have the the light guards. So there are a few extra, a few extra pounds as well. Up on the top, as as you can see, the uh, see the aerial for the CB. And as you can see, in pretty good condition for uh, for its age. As I said, 2006, 111,000 miles. Not really quite sure what price we should put it up for, so um, interested to see what people want to actually make an offer on it. So I'll be sad to uh, see it go, but uh, if you are looking for a D3, I can highly recommend this one. As I said, it's been really good for us. We've had no serious problems with it whatsoever. Oh, and I also forgot to mention both the front and the rear pads have been replaced in the last few months and also had new brake wear sensors fitted at the same time. So if you are interested, drop us a message. We'll actually put our Instagram on there as well so you can easily get in contact with us and hopefully see you soon. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye. And here's a little compilation of some of the best bits that we've uh, enjoyed over the years with this Discovery 3.